industrial dumpsters were brought in to remove bins, tarps, and other items that may have been contaminated. The remains were then taken to a landfill in northern Arkansas. The sheriff told us last week that the homeowner was believed to have been taking in and sheltering rescue dogs for the past 20 years, but wasn't properly disposing of them. We are your local election headquarters. As early voting begins, we're going inside a race for Little Rock Mayor. Five men are vying for the job. This week, KRK is giving you exclusive access to their campaigns. Ashley Katz has been following events in Tolliver all day long. And Ashley, talk about a high-energy day on the campaign trail. This one got started, and it just seemed to keep rolling. Yeah, Bob, Vincent Tolliver has taken us all over this city today from polling places to the classroom, even on the basketball court. We're here in Hillcrest right now as he hopes to convince voters, especially those last minute ones, to pick him on the ballot. One thing has been clear, though, throughout this whole campaign. This is about the people. To meet you, do you live in the city? With coffee in hand, Vincent Tolliver is ready to start the day, greeting voters in Soma. Tolliver is a regular in this part of town, and those who know him, including Community Bakery COO John Brandenberger, say he loves interacting with the people of Little Rock. Communicates well with everybody that comes in. I'm pretty sure just about everyone that comes here knows who he is, just because he's not a stranger. The People's Campaign, as Tolliver calls it, took us all across town. He made it a priority to visit as many of the city's wards as possible. Our campaign is about people, Ashley. It um, begins and ends with people because when you invest in people, you reap the benefits. Uh, the entire city reaps the benefits. One of those benefits he'd like to see more of, access to the arts. He's always been a lover of anything related to our community and the arts. Kenneth Milton has taught art at Dunbar Magnet Middle School for 35 years and has known Tolliver most of that time. He supports Tolliver's vision of promoting the arts, not just in high traffic areas, but all of Little Rock's seven wards. Little Rock is a vast mecca of artistic talent that we don't get a chance to see all the time. Uh, we have a lot of venues here, but we need more. Tolliver knows he faces a challenge going up against three well-funded candidates, but says campaign cash doesn't equal support. Because what we know for sure is money doesn't vote, people vote. You got to make sure that you get the message directly to the voter. And he's wasting no time doing that himself, bucking tradition and casting his ballot on day one of early voting. It's so important to him, he took us to four early voting locations across town. In Little Rock has an incredible opportunity in this moment to realize, um, I think, what has been a long-term dream of the city, and that's a Little Rock that's united. And you may have noticed there have not been any campaign workers out here with Tolliver today. This is really a grassroots campaign. He's working hard for every single vote, even at this hour, seven hours into the campaign today. One thing that you can do to follow along on this campaign and all of the others is log on to KRK.com. That's where we posted a live blog detailing our coverage of the mayoral race here in Little Rock. We'll be following all of the candidates throughout the week, so much more to come. Live here in Little Rock, I'm Ashley Ketz. Back to you, Bob. All right, Ashley, thanks very much. And as Ashley mentioned, we are continuing to meet your mayoral candidates throughout the week. Staying on the campaign trail. Next up, Glenn Schwartz. Tune in to KRK4 News tomorrow to hear his thoughts on why he should be your next mayor.